Hi, Matt Russell here with another Photoshop tutorial. Today I want to show how to make images in Photoshop look like Instagram filters. So often I hear designers say, man, I wish I could use Photoshop and get it to look just like this one filter in Instagram. Well, I want to give you two techniques today to help you do that. We're just going to be looking at vignette and also curves. So first off, I have a couple images in here I want to give a demonstration on. A great image of a father and a son. They look like they're having a great time in a city. Let's go ahead and go down here right where the circle button is and click curves. Once that's open, one thing I really like to do, just first thing before I do anything else, is click auto. It'll add a little bit more contrast and brightness and it'll fix a couple things. So go to RGB, red, green, blue, and click on blue. What I like to do is, uh, in, f in f working on color schemes within Photoshop to make it look like Instagram, um, I like to cycle through red and green and blue and see what exactly I like to do to make the color of cross-processing that I'm desiring. So it's the same technique no matter what color you want to do. All you have to do is drop down the right and bring up the left. So. If you bring it up too far, it's going to kind of look like that. But I like to find a little pretty good balance. Right about, you know, that looks pretty good right there. So if you don't like that color scheme, maybe you want something a little bit bluer. So something like that. Hit auto. Uh, let's take a look at what green looks like. Bring it down, bring it up. That totally looks like a 70s filter right there. Click auto again, go to red, just to go through all of them. This one adds kind of that classic reddish, rusty tone that comes through. I love it. Okay, let's stick with this one for now, and I want to add on a vignette. Again, this tutorial isn't very long, but I want to give you just two techniques. First one is curves. That's it. That's how you get the coloring. Second one thing I like to do is pick my brush right here, right click, click the blurry one top right, make sure it's on uh, black, then I like to just color around the edges. You know, some people like to really make it perfect and um, use an oval tool and, and that's great. But I really like the, uh, that feel of vintage photography of it's not perfect, it's not done by vectors, it's not done, it's by hand. So do that and then go ahead and drop down here, okay, right here on uh, the overlay. And I like to kind of cycle through and find one that I like. Actually, nah, divide doesn't look very good. Press up to cycle through them a little faster. Overlay looks like the one for us today. Go to opacity, drop it down a little bit. One thing to keep in mind when creating a vignette is if you have the vignette below the curves, it'll darken the color of the image. But if you have on the top, it'll add a darker black to the image. So for this one, I kind of like a darker color on the outside and lighter on the inside. All right, you know, let's go ahead and change this one. I don't think I'm happy with the RGB. Let's go back to blue, drop it down. Yep. It's kind of a colder feel and a warmer feel. Kind of want right in there. Close out of that. And then let's check out our original image right there. And final image right there. Jumping over to this uh, hiking photo, let's do the same process again just to give you an example that it can be done across any photo. You just have to dial it into what you're looking for. So again, add in the curves layer. I'm just going to hit auto, you know, fixes a little bit of the brightness contrast. Let's go down to red this time. Drop this one down, bring this side up. A little bit of red in there. Yeah. Okay. Again, let's go ahead and draw the vignette around the edge. Boom. 
change this to overlay. Let's bring it down a little bit. So that kind of darkens it, but let's drop it below the curves. That looks fantastic. Well, that's the entire tutorial on how to make a photo in Photoshop look like Instagram. I'm Matt Russell, and thanks for joining me today with Photoshop with Matt.